All right, everybody, thanks for tuning in today. This is going into the things category of this channel because it is not train related. Uh, so today, my wife, Allie, and I, who's making her vlog debut, are heading down to, we're on our way to BWI um, Airport, flying to Orlando for the Disney Princess Half Marathon. Uh, neither of us are runners, so we'll preface this whole thing with that. So this has been uh, it's kind of an adventure that we've decided to embark on. Back in August, I got out of a meeting right at the beginning of the school year and found out that I was signed up for this, and I blame her for it. So I started training late summer, and I was up to race distance in November and hurt my knee on Thanksgiving. It is Feb the end of February 2022, and so I've only put in a, a couple days of like four, four and a half miles since my knee has kind of settled back down. I had an MRI done and nothing showed up on that. So the race is Sunday. Today is Thursday. We're gonna go down, we're gonna do some parks Friday, or park Friday, park Saturday, race Sunday, and then just relax. So I thought I'd bring you all along for the ride. We'll have a three-part series. This one will be included in just doing the race itself and that experience, and then we'll do one of Hollywood Studios Park and the new Star Wars area there and then we'll do one of just Magic Kingdom for the, the Disney fans out there. So if you're not into anything other than watching train videos, you can, I appreciate you clicking on the video, but I don't feel like you have to keep watching. I'd appreciate it if you did. So we're gonna get on a plane, fly down there, and then do some fun stuff, and I appreciate you all joining us for the ride. So we are on the ground. Got here early and then sat on the tarmac for 20 minutes until they had a spot for us. But we are in the Orlando airport. We have to get on these trains, take us to terminal baggage claim. So here comes one now. Yeah. Right, good morning, everybody. So it is Friday morning. And it is cold at home, but it is nice and warm here in Orlando. So I'm up, I'm gonna go out and grab some coffees for everyone. And there's actually a Wawa right down the street, which is a pleasant surprise for those of us in the Philly region. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of that. And then today we are going to Hollywood Studios and gonna be checking out the Star Wars stuff. So we're gonna be documenting that. That'll be in a separate video. But uh, we're also gonna be going to the Expo today to pick up our race gear. So we have to pick up our bibs and there's gonna have some merchandise there for purchase. So I will get videos of that. That'll take, that'll take place in the ESPN Y World of Sports Complex, which is not that far away from everything else. So I'll get a video of that as well here when we get there. And if you wanna check out Hollywood Studios, that video will be coming out in a little while also. Thanks guys. So we are heading into the ESPN Wide World of Sports to pick up our race bibs and shirts and then there's a whole merchandise and a Platinum Club member lounge area which we're not going into. But uh, we'll try to get some video here. So we had to take a drive from, we were over at uh, Hollywood Studios, drove over here to ESPN Wide World of Sports to pick all this stuff up. Our race is not till Sunday, it's Friday right now. So we want to get this knocked out and see what else we can find. There's tons of people working around with merch, so we'll see what else they have available. And offers a complimentary shuttle with door-to-door -door service from your resort hotel to...
Alright, so it is 4.15. We're supposed to be on buses by 4. We got into the parking lot at 3.15. Took us 30 minutes to park. And then we've been standing in line waiting for buses to get to Epcot. It's an absolute um, logistical disaster. They've got no buses to see us over there. I believe it's a nightmare unloading at Epcot. So we're going to see how that goes. So hopefully we can get 45 minutes to the race start time. So not the way we wanted our morning to go. So let's just uh, play it by ear and see how this goes. We keep posting. All right, it is 5.50. Just got off the bus, so walking to the start line. Race to start at 5. But there's a bunch of buses behind us because the parking bus situation is so poorly designed. So I don't know how we're going to start at 5 because the buses are all on the running path. So we'll get there eventually. Now that I'm off the bus. No, I thought... <laughs> 5.50, start time. Race to start. for you guys less than one minute for your journey uh when you share things on social media make sure you use hashtag princess hat and hashtag on disney right and by the way we want to see the finish line thank you riley all right a pretty funny story she thought she signed up for the 5k well, her friend signed up for the 5k Beyonce. All right, two and a half miles to Magic Kingdom. Caution runners, speed bumps ahead. See how long it takes to get to the castle from here. I am averaging a 10 minute mile, which I started this before we actually got to the start line. So feeling pretty good. Caution runners, course narrows ahead.
saying there at the end of the race, uh, this was a great experience. It's a lot of people. So I am two days post-race now. We just got home and uh, about three hours ago or so. So we've had a lot of time to kind of reflect on everything. My official time was two hours and 13 minutes, which I'm happy with. I was training for this since August and had gotten up to actually 13 miles in November and was under two hours with my training time. And I was doing that here in Pennsylvania where I'm running on a lot of hills. So I was hoping to be able to break two hours. So if one you of the reach within two hours or less than two hours, you get a better starting place for the next time you, you, you race. And so that would have been much better for us or for me at least, because I was running and I wanted to get my best time. Now, I also was injured in November on Thanksgiving morning. I ran up to my mileage, hurt my knee. I actually haven't run really since then. I put about four miles in each week for the last three weeks before going into this race. So I was not really prepared. So I'm really happy with the time that I got. But next time I was hoping to be able to start in maybe the first group of people. We have 12,000 people running like we had in this race. It's a lot of people to work through. Uh, when you're when you're running. So the beginning of the race, you were on freeways, which is really wide, but eventually you end up on like service roads or one lane roads. And so you're elbow to elbow with other runners. And that makes it very, very difficult to keep your own pace when they're stopping to walk and things like that. So overall, like I said before, this was a really great experience. It's such a neat course to run. There's a couple of different options. You can do a 5k, 10k, the half marathon, or for the princess run, which is what this was, you could do the fairy tale challenge, which is doing the 10K on Saturday and then the half marathon on Sunday. I think I'll try that if we do this again. There's also three other races that you can do through the Run Disney program, and they donate a lot of the proceeds from these races because it is expensive to register. And when you have that many people, they're making a lot of money. So they donate a lot of that. So that this race was donated to a specific cause for a children's hospital. And uh, the, the other events are donated to other specific charities. So that's neat. But running through Magic Kingdom was really cool, you know, when it was closed in the morning. So it was a great, great overall experience. I'm pretty sore, but I'm, I'm happy that it's over. I'm excited for the next one. Excited to get back to training more in the morning. My knee, which I hurt back in November, completely held up. In fact, my other knee, which is typically sore after I run, is still hurting a little bit today, but that's expected from the just the lack of total preparedness that I had for this. But overall, great experience. Thanks for watching if you got this far. 
really appreciate it. And hopefully we can do this again another time.